What's up guys, I wanted to bring you this video today because I'm going to be putting the uh, ASMG3 online today on the new tank. <clears throat> and um, just wanted to show you what I needed to do. I upgraded the pump to a uh, Tunzi Hydrofoamer. 9410, whatever. Um, my um, Cedra 5000, the uh, cord where it enters the pump kind of like this ended up cracking and all the insulation was uh, exposed and I just didn't feel like really taking that uh, that risk so I upgraded to this pump. This thing has been using it a while and it um, definitely produces a lot of bubbly water. Um, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a clue if you decide to go this route with this pump how to get it to fit into the uh, ASM body. All I did was get a bunch of these O-rings here, right there, I'm sure you can see a whole bunch of them. And I just stacked them on here and then it is press fitted right in there like that. So I'll come back to you with another clip here with it running. Alright guys, and here the skimmer is in the sump and this thing produces some really, really good foam. Uh, it's probably got to break in a little bit uh, because I soaked it for a couple days in uh, vinegar. So, see what happens here. Um, I guess, real quick, too, I'm going to probably be changing out my aqua lifter pump because it's not working well. So, I'm going to probably go a different route for my ATO. I've got a little uh, Maxi Jet 404 that'll fit into this container. So, that's probably the route I'm going to end up going because it's the. The uh, aqua lifter is very hit and miss. It works and then it starts doing that. I'm sure you can see that it runs and then it stops running. So I don't know what's going on with it. All right, guys. There it is the ASM G3 with the Tunzi Hydrofoamer. 